and welcome back to All Over the Map. Thanks for tuning in. On this episode, we've got the second game of European cities, population 500,000 plus, all European cities with over 500,000 population in all possible locations. A lot of locations here, 250,000 plus, so we can play this numerous times. This game we'll do as a two-minute no-move challenge, which is going to be a little difficult. But we'll also invite you to play along, so let's see if you can beat me in this game. Hope everybody is doing well today, watching this or playing this, whatever the case may be. And let's try to find out where we are here. So interesting architecture. It's almost like a Paris type of feel. And maybe that's not the case. Let's see if we got any clues. We have Society de Mechanique. Okay. They can... That's French. Reno type of car. Okay. Novotel on that. Trash can or rubbish bin. It's an interesting font there on those numbers. Some flower pots and baskets or whatever. A hilly location. And Jour et Nuet. So yes, the smart car is coming out of this little garage. And I think it's safe to assume this is probably Paris. So let's just see. We've got Paris, Lyon, Nantes, <laughs> how are you supposed to say it? Montpellier. I'm going to guess that this with the tall building for probably Paris. Um, probably south here. Let me think where these tall buildings are. Um, over here. 13 seconds. I'm just going to stick with that. And that's where we are, Paris, France, 1.9 miles. Uh, we are near Avenue du President Kennedy. Where were we? In a back alley someplace in Paris. So, yes, yeah, so my first uh, inclination was right on that. It was Paris. Okay, so we've got the squiggly lines. We're driving on the left. We're in England. Although this light is interesting here. The traffic light. I don't, I've never really seen traffic lights going across the street in England. Um, you're all invited. Does that say Sheffield University? So we're back in Sheffield. I think we had Sheffield in this other game. Hallam, Arundel Gate, Hallam University, near the train station. Sheffield, Hallam. Buses for Sheffield. If I just went around and looked, <laughs> we could have gotten that one. So we are, I guess this is the Midlands. I'm not really sure. Anybody from England, comment down below. Um... Sheffield Hallam University. Arundel Gate is the actual road. And looking north, Odeon Lux. There we are. I think we're about there. Bus. Where do you get the bus? Yeah, I guess this is good enough. We're going to give this a go and... 27 yards, 5,000 points. There we go for a perfect round in Sheffield, England. Okay, if I had to guess, make a guess without... And maybe we'll do this as a no-move, no-pan, no-zoom game next time. Maybe that's the next one for European cities. I would have to guess this is Germany. Because of this 
blocked out thing. I guess you can choose to be blocked out. And we're on Bill Horner Mordenbeg. Okay, so Bill Air. Mark Monstrasse. Okay. Oof. Not much to go off of here. Um, you don't think this is Munich. Hmm. Could this be... We've got two choices here, I think. What does this LH stand for? Some graffiti. 42 seconds. Um, it's an interesting font. I can't make out signs of interest. I see it's 040, so I should probably know what that is, but I don't. You know, I mean, that would probably help in this situation, but let's just take a look. We're either Berlin, Hamburg, or Essen, or Hanover. I guess there's a couple of places over 500,000. I think I'm going to go with Berlin on this one. I, I don't know why, but I just think that maybe this is Charlotte, Charlottenburg. Let's just guess it. Um... And we we're in Hamburg, so 3,097 points. The wrong city in Germany. A lot of graffiti here. We've got Farad. So maybe this is, is this Germany? Does it say? That's German Farad, right? That's a bike. Donau. I didn't realize there's so much graffiti in Germany. So, yes, yeah, so well, maybe this is in Germany. Maybe this is like Vienna. Yeah, I think this is probably Vienna, Austria. What does it say? Wien. Wien. So it is Vienna. Yeah, a lot of a lot of graffiti. It, always interesting. I'm just shocked. Always, I don't know. Not that there's anything wrong with it per se, but usually that's stuff you want to clean up. And I don't know. It just, I'm just shocked. The more I do this, I see a lot in Spain and I didn't, I haven't seen it uh, in Vienna. Irving graffiti on the kids thing? Hopefully not. Um, <laughs> I'm sitting around looking at graffiti in Spiefelgasse. Looking south. Spiefelgasse. It's probably going to be over here somewhere, maybe. North, south. Nope, that's Langa Gasse. There's a lot of parks in Vienna, that's for sure. Um, okay, so we're not that far away. 1,000 yards, 4,991 points. So not too bad. I saw Wien there at the end as a clue. Uh, obviously the German and then the signs. I think the street signs um, can give a lot of clues too. But again, folks, I haven't been to Europe. Well, no, I've been to Europe. I've been to Ireland. Um, but sometimes when I think of Ireland and the United Kingdom, it's, you know, think of that. They're their own island, but... Yeah, I've been to the, I guess what you would call mainland part of Europe, um, but I learned, I've learned a lot playing this game, and one of the things that I see oftentimes is, even with German, there's different road signs, different fonts, and, you know, I take that for what it is, but it seems like that comes up quite a bit, so if you know those signs, it's going to give you a lot of clues. All right, the fifth and final round, and... Umbra, I don't know what that is, but maybe this is like Lisbon or something. More graffiti. Um, OK, 
Okay, so let's take a look at this again. Urbanismo. No, I don't want that yet. Pretty dry, that's for sure. Um, okay, so what do we have here? Innovation. So maybe, no, this is probably Spain. I wonder if this is Sevilla. Oh, what is this? What is that thing? Is that a... What the heck is that? Um... Sevilla. I wonder if I should just go with Seville. Um, pretty dry. Is that a Hummer? It's 25 seconds, so let's... make that out and I'm thinking maybe that's what it is I don't know let's just uh oh yeah yo um let's just go to bill it's my just a random guess but I think that could be it and that's where we were perfect that's Sevilla that's probably what it was let's just see <clears throat> what it was was it a stadium Yeah, I don't know what that was. But 4,946 points. So pretty happy about that one. We were on Avenue San Geronimo. <laughs> Geronimo. Um, but Seville, let's see what he got. 23,004 points. Not too bad. The German round was the one where I got a little caught off. On that, we'll probably do this next game as a no move, no pan, no zoom. Maybe two games in one video um, to have some fun with it. I do like the European rounds. Um, again, I, I love the United States rounds, obviously, but you know, Europeans seem seemingly are the that and folks from America are the highest um, amount of viewers on this channel are from Europe and that. And I know there's other people watching from Brazil, watching from. Burma, watching from Russia, watching from Ukraine, watching from Australia, but um, also want to hear from you. So if you're this far in and you're from not from Europe or North America, comment down below and you want a game to, for me to play and do a video on, put that there as well and I'll play that. So this is a fun one. I enjoyed this. We went from Vienna Let's just take a quick look at that again. We'll go over this and look at some of these rounds. But it was Veen. So if you know uh, a couple things, you know football, Rapid Veen. Rapid Veen. Um, and, and for some reason, it does, this is not as clear <laughs> as the original. But it was set it right here, which is fascinating. I don't know what the heck's happening to that. But anyway, Vienna, you see the sign here I was talking about? These street signs. This is a very typical Vienna-looking uh, street sign. So, for lack of a better word, Spital Gasse. The first round, Paris, obviously with the French, Hamburg, Berlin. I just thought maybe the apartment complexes were looking a little more Berlinish. Manchester, or excuse me, Sheffield. That was pretty easy for that one. And then Seville, the one. Um, really, the clue for me was it looked dry, it looked arid. Um, you just see, wait a minute. <laughs> How am I not getting the same? That's crazy. So I'm sure it's, pro oh, this is Street View from February 2020. Uh, unfortunately, not sure. There's a ton. Um, let's see if it has March of 2021, maybe. Nope. March of 20. Whoa. This building has gone through a lot of changes, I guess. But staying still crappy, but with signs. How old is that sign? Anyway, you played this game. You saw it Sevilla. That's my guess. Maybe this is here. Yeah, it says Sevilla. But in any case, 
23,000. Pretty happy with this one. Hopefully you beat me in this. With that said, appreciate each and every one of you that continue to tune in. There's about 80% of you that have not subscribed. Just if you're this far, hit that subscribe button. Take that take that uh, chance. I, I dare you to hit that subscribe button. You get a lot of great content. With that said, thanks for tuning in. Until next time, cheers.